Hello friends, we are going to write an algorithm to find if a given number is prime or not. What is a prime number? A number which is fully divided by 1 and itself is known as a prime number. That means the remainder, when you divide the number by itself and 1, then the remainder will be 0. For the remaining values, okay, one yield. The remainder as a 0, such number are prime number. If you see as two prime numbers, 1 is a prime number, 3 is a prime number, 5 is a prime number, 7 is a prime number, 11 is a prime number, and so on. We are going to write an algorithm to find the prime numbers. Step 1 is the logical start. Of the algorithm. Step 2 by using a print statement I am asking the user to enter the number. Enter the number and obtaining the input. Step 3 the input n. Step 4 I am initializing the variable I'm checking if I less than or equal to n minus one, then means I I use less than or equal to n minus one, then inside the body of the if statement, if the condition is true, again I'm checking. If len modulo i equal to 0, when I divide the i by n, the remainder is 0. I am checking the remainder is 0. If it is also true, so true, I am transferring the control out of this statements. That means inner and outer. If statements go to step else this is the else of the inner if statement if n modulo i not equal to 0 I am incrementing i equal to i plus 1 again I am moving the control back to the step 5 go to Step 5. So, this is the end if if of the inner statement. I am writing a else here if i less than or equal to n minus 1. So, I am writing else here, else for the outer if. This else i less than or equal to n minus 1. So what I am doing, I am printing print the number n is prime. n is prime, then I have a go to second here. Here step 6, step 6, so here this is the control I am going to move to the step 6 because in step 6 I am printing, print n 
is not prime. Okay, then it's not that prime number. So I'm, I'm moving the this control when n modulo i is zero to step six equivalent n is not prime. Step seven step seven is stop. So when I'm after printing when n is prime, so I move the control to the step seven. So here it is n loop. So how it works? I am obtaining input n from the user. I am setting i equal to two. When i less than or equal to n minus one, if it's true, we come and check whether n minus i equal to zero. If it is zero, it will control more than the uh, to step six to print n is after prime. Why it is happening? Because between i the loop will go between the value of i two to n minus one. If n is completely divided by any i value that is not meeting the property of the prime because prime number is completely divided by itself and one one only. So here I am starting from from two for i I am starting from two and going up to n minus one. So for any i value if it is divisible completely by i then it is not a prime number. I am moving or control I am moving the control out of this uh, out of this uh, looping logical looping and we come to the step six and print n is not a prime and algorithm ends. So in another case, if n mod y not equal to zero, I am incrementing i by one. I am letting go to step five. Until we come again to the this condition checking. So I increment i value again. I am checking i less than or equal to n minus one. Okay. Again, uh, if it is again again checking n mod y not equal to zero inside the body. If it is false, again I will get incremented. So continuously uh, it is looping uh, by incrementing value of i. And when i reach a condition i Greater than n minus one, it will come to the else part. I am printing n is prime. Why I am printing n is a prime number? Because for the i value two to n minus one, it is not divisible completely by any i value. So from two to n minus one, the n is not completely divisible. Means that is a prime number. That's why I am printing n is a prime number and go to step seven. Step seven is the logical stop of this algorithm. We will take a sample value and check. How this algorithm works? So logical start. When enter the number input n, I am obtaining the input from the user and store it in the variable n. My n value is five. N value is five. Set so, i equal to two. I am initializing i equal to two. I am checking if i less than or equal to n minus one. Two. Less than or equal to four. The condition is true. N mod y equal to zero. I'm checking n mod y equal to zero. What is the value of n? N mod y two equal to zero. I'm checking this. This is not true. So if we go to the else part, it will increment i value by one. So i existing value is two. Two plus one equal to three. I value is Three now, and second iteration we come here and check i less than or equal to n minus one. Three less than or equal to four. This condition is true. Now I am checking n mod y inside the statement because three less than or equal to four is true. Then I am coming inside the the body of this statement. I am checking n mod y equal to zero. That means five mod y three. Equal to zero. This is also false. Then if we go to the else part, incrementing i equal to i plus one. So i equal to the existing value of i is three, three plus one, which is equal to four. So this again go to step five. We come here for the next iteration. Here I am checking four less than or equal to four. Thus i value is four. n minus one is Four, four less than or equal to four. The condition is true. Again, I am checking n modulo i equal to zero. So five modulo four equal to zero. This is false.
So now if you come to the else part incrementing i by 1, i equal to 4 plus 1, which is equal to 5. If you come to the next iteration, if you come to the next iteration, so here I am checking 5 is i value less than or equal to n minus 1, 5 minus 1, 4, which is false. If you come to the else loop and print, n is 5. So, what is the value of 5? The n value is prime is my output and algorithm stops. So, I am entering 5 and my algorithm prints 5 is a prime number, 5 is a prime number only. So, for, uh, for this n equal to 5 prints 5 equal to prime number. Input is 5, it print 5 is a prime number. We will check, we will take another value, a non prime number and check how the algorithm works. I am taking the value 4 n equal to 4, input n, n equal to 4, i equal to 2, i equal to 2 now, it checks i less than or equal to n minus 1, so 2 less than or equal to n minus 1, so n value is 4, 4 minus 1 is 3, condition is true, so it will check n modulo i equal to 0, 4 modulo 2, so modulo already checks the remainder, 4 modulo 2 equal to Zero, yes, it is correct because uh, 4 modulo by 2. So, modulo of it returns the remainder, it will return the 0 only. In, in the case, the condition is true. It will come inside, go to step 6. Step 6, print, I am printing n is not prime. So, I am printing 4 is not prime and algorithm stops. So, 4 is not a prime number because for a value of 2, the 4 is completely divided by. 2, that means the remainder is 0, that's why the 4 is not a prime number, I am printing 4 is not prime. So, the algorithm is working for the, both the prime and non-prime inputs. That's it. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, share, comment and press the bell button. Thank you.